Jerry, have I been looking forward to seeing you today. <laughs> I think this studio is finally starting to appreciate me. Don't you think? Today, I got to share a scene with none other than Don Lockwood. I mean, Don Lockwood. <laughs> well, I nearly fainted. I didn't have any lines, but you'll at least be able to see me in the frame this time. Oh, gosh, I was so close to him, Gerald. He's so handsome. And I believe that I caught his eye too. He winked at me. <laughs> but, well, he rubbed his eye right after, so it could have just been a speck of dust. Or maybe, just maybe, he was being coy with me. I mean, the tension was, <laughs> well, you could cut it with a knife. I mean, that is something that would really get tongues wagging. Don Lockwood and a former chorus girl. Oh, can you imagine? The two of us, Zelda Zanders and Don Lockwood on the front of all those fan magazines. Oh, a girl can dream. <laughs> so Jerry, tell me, why'd you bring me here? Huh? What's the good news? Have you heard any more about my screen test? <gasps> Did I get the part, Jerry? Well, Jerry, Gerald, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> It's big, isn't it? Is it a starring role? I have done so many screen tests. It has to be a starring role. Oh no, oh, a multi-picture deal. <laughs> I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> well, what is it, Jerry? What's it? A contract? <laughs> it's a... <clears throat> It's a Paul Nolive ad. <laughs> so th this is soap, soap. I'm doing a soap advertisement. It's just a photograph. This is not a movie. It's not a talkie. It's a print ad. And that is not acting, Gerald. This is it's, it's, it's puppetry. It's puppetry and I can hardly take it, Gerald. Oh, it's nothing to fit. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, I can't do this anymore, Gerald. I can't keep smiling and looking pretty in the background. You, you said I had potential. You said I was gonna make it, Jerry. You, you said that I was gonna be a star. So what is it? My hair. Oh, I should go platinum, shouldn't I? Oh, I knew it. Thinner? I need to be thinner? Oh, this town is just... I'm already dating for dinner just to keep from dying. How much thinner can I get? Oh, Am I not? Am I not a good enough actress? Uh, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 that can't, that can't be it, Jerry. <laughs> that can't be it. Like, I don't mean to brag, but I played snug in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Shakespeare, you know? <laughs> not easy. But the reviews in the Watsonville Herald said I was not to be missed and quote, interesting to say the very least, end quote. And I didn't even know half of what I was saying. Now that is talent. I am far more than just a pretty face. Although it doesn't hurt, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know who is a pretty face, but no substance. That Kathy girl, Kathy, oh, I don't know. Chorus girl. Sheldon, Selden, seldom, seldom good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Have you seen her? You know, a mousy brown hair, little pudgy doll face. I'm sure you've seen her around, plain Jane. There's all this buzz around her, and I can't figure out why. Two left feet, not much in the looks department, if you ask me. You know, she and I were in the same dance corps. We both worked background for the first Doc Lockwood picture, and I have to say, I was wasn't terribly impressed. I mean, she wasn't bad, but she wasn't good. Oh, she's a lovely girl, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Just, well, you know, a little bland, if you ask me. Not much going on upstairs. And she must be straight off the turnip truck, bless her little heart. <laughs> In fact, I wonder what her resume looks like. Can't be much on it. Hmm. Just, she feels so green. Do you know what I'm saying? Not like you and me, a couple of old Hollywood battle axes, right, Gerald? <laughs> it has to be tough for you to mold someone like that. Pretty face, but no talent. How did you manage it with Lena? 
thank heavens the movies are silent or she'd have been dead in the water years ago. <laughs> uh, don't, don't tell her that I said that, but you know I'm right. <laughs> well, back to me, Gerald. I have training. I have graced the stage. I have over five shows on my resume. I mean, sure, they're all community th dinner theater. And sure, most of them are ensemble parts. And sure, one of them I played a dead body. But I have been praised by directors for being memorable without pulling focus. <laughs> I mean, that's the very statement that was made to me by none other than Cecil himself. When I was starting out in this town, wait, he said it not directly to me, about me, I think. It was Cecil himself that said it. <sighs> Look, Gerald, I can carry a tune. I dance. I act, Gerald, I act. I didn't come out here to be filler, to be a living, breathing prop in the background of RKO pictures. I am not just some, some small town hack. I'm tired, Gerald. I'm so tired and I don't want to hear that my time is coming and I just have to pay my dues. I paid my dues, Jerry. I paid mine and everyone else's, in fact. You know who hasn't? Lena or Kathy, whatever her name is. When will it be my turn? Now, before you answer that, I would like to remind you that when you signed me, you said, and I quote, that everything about me was simply charming. This face, this talent, Jerry, I am the complete package and someday you'll look back on this moment and kick yourself for even suggesting that America, nay, the world, doesn't want to see and hear this talent, Zelda Zanders, on the big screen. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper there, but Gerald, can I speak frankly? Well, I'm going to anyway. I do not want to get pigeonholed as the pretty girl. That's Lena's thing. We both know she just lucked her way into this business. Well, luck at the casting couch. For God's sake, Jerry, she hasn't even graced the stage. She's untrained. She, she's, she's average at best. It's not what I came to this town to do, and this is not the type of work that I want to have. I'm expecting more. However, I'm willing to do this one final, non-speaking, only a photograph roll, because I am needed, and I have been chosen to represent this fine brand and I am beholden to the advertisement deals of the studio, and I'd hate to reflect poorly on this great institution. So I will do this palm olive advert. I'm not happy about it, but I will do it. And the next audition I get, Jerry, it had better be a good one, a speaking one. Do we see eye to eye on that?